We're back with another really quick video featuring Unify's G4 Bullet. What we're going to have a look at today is this G4 IR extender. Now, I've already done a comparison between this and the G3 Bullet, so if you want to see that video, there's a link down in the description below. But today, we're going to see how much benefit we get out of this extender. It's going to cost you around $79 in the US and around 70 odd pounds in the UK. But let's go ahead and put this to the test outside and see what it does. It does say it will give us up to 25 meters, which is approximately the length of the garden. So we're going to go outside and have a look. What I'm going to do first, though, is we're going to open up the box and have a quick look and see how it all connects together. Um, I believe it is just something that sits on the front of this, but we will take a look at that anyway. Remember, if you are new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, like the video if you have enjoyed this or found it useful. The links to the products are in the description below as well, so feel free to check them out. So let's jump straight into the box. Right, so if we have a look at what comes inside the box, so it's a fairly small and flat box, you don't ex expect anything more of it. It says on there the G4 IR extender. We go ahead and peel the tab off on the side. And we take a look at what comes inside the box. So there's probably not too much in here, like I said. So little guide and the bullet itself. So this actually connects via USB, um, which goes straight onto the camera. So let's try that. If we take a look at the G4 bullet down below, you can see there's actually, if I can get this out, there's a little rubber grommet here. There we go. And that just falls out straight away. Um, once you pull that open and then you can actually just pop this straight in here so it still keeps it watertight and sealed but that clips straight on there so I just had to take a second off camera there so I actually tried to take this off by hand but it doesn't come off I had to use a pair of pliers so they say it comes off pretty simple it does come off fairly easy with a set of pliers but other than that it is quite you won't be able to take this off with your hands. Um, if you do, fine. If not, you will need a pair of pliers. Once that's off, we can make sure this is placed correctly in the right way. You'll see there are some gaps within here. Just make sure they correspond correctly. And if worst case scenario, just line up the USB cable and you should be there or thereabouts. So we go ahead and plug this on. There you go, you heard that click in. Makes it a bit more chunkier, this camera. Doesn't look as uh, nice as it normally does. And that little USB should just clip straight in. So that's how it gets its power, is from the USB at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside now and get it mounted. Um, we'll do one with it and one without it, and we'll put the two pictures side by side to see how they compare. One thing I need to show you just before we go outside in the Protect app, you click Settings. That then brings up this menu, which you then go to Infrared Night Vision. At the bottom, you'll see External IR Accessory, and you can turn that on and off to toggle the external adapter. So if you have it plugged in, make sure this is turned on to make use of it. So here are the two side-by-side -side pictures of one with the infrared on and one with the infrared off. I'll let you take a guess first. And actually the one in the bottom right hand corner is the one with the extra infrared on. So you can see, you can see a lot more of the garden. The pictures towards the back is a little bit more clearer and you can make the person out a little bit more closer. So overall, it definitely is worth buying this if you need the extra IR range. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if you have a setup where you would need the longer range. Would you be willing to pay $79 or would you buy yourself maybe a second camera perhaps? Again, if you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button. The links to the products are down in the description below. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.